Operation Pedestal was a British operation to get desperately needed supplies to the island of Malta in August 1942, during the Second World War. Malta was the base from which surface ships, submarines and aircraft attacked Axis convoys carrying supplies to the Italian and German armies in North Africa. From 1940 to 1942, Malta was under siege, blockaded by Axis air and naval forces. To sustain Malta, the United Kingdom had to get convoys through at all costs. Despite serious losses, just enough supplies were delivered for Malta to continue resistance. Although it ceased to be an effective offensive base for much of 1942, the most crucial supply was fuel delivered by the SS Ohio, an American-built tanker with a British crew. The operation officially started on 3 August 1942 and the convoy sailed through the Strait of Gibraltar on the night of 9-10 August. The convoy is also known as the Battle of Mid-August in Italy and as the Convoge Tar Santa Maria in Malta. The arrival of the last ships of the convoy on 15 August 1942 coincided with the Feast of the Assumption. The name Santa Maria Convoy or Star Maria Convoy is still used in the day's public holiday and celebrations, in part, honor the arrival of the convoy. The attempt to run 50 ships past bombers, e-boats, minefields and submarines has gone down in military history as one of the most important British strategic victories of the Second World War. More than 500 merchant and Royal Navy sailors and airmen were killed and only five of the 14 merchant ships reached Grand Harbour. The arrival of the remains of the convoy did not break the siege, that continued until the Allied reconquest of Egypt and Libya. After the Second Battle of El Alamein an Operation Torch in the Western Mediterranean, transformed the strategic situation and enabled land-based aircraft to escort merchant ships to the island. Background Allied operations The Allies waged the Western Desert Campaign in North Africa, against the Axis forces of Italy aided by Germany. That had sent the Deutsches Afrika Korps and substantial Luftwaffe detachments to the Mediterranean in late 1940. Up to the end of the year, 21 ships with 160,000 long tons of cargo had reached Malta without loss and a reserve of seven months' supplies had been accumulated. Three convoy operations to Malta in 1941 lost only one merchant ship. From January 1941 to August 1942, 46 ships had delivered 320,000 long tons but 23 ships had been sunk and modern, efficient, merchant ships. Naval and air forces had been diverted from other routes for long periods. 31 supply runs by submarines had been conducted. Reinforcements for Malta included 19 costly and dangerous aircraft carrier ferry operations to deliver fighters. From August 1940 to the end of August 1942, 670 Hurricane and Spitfire fighters had been flown off carriers in the western Mediterranean. Many of these used Malta as a staging post and then continued to North Africa and the Desert Air Force. Malta was also a base for air, sea and submarine operations against Axis supply lines and from 1 June and 31 October 1941. British forces sank about 220,000 long tons of Axis shipping on the African convoy routes, 94,000 long tons by the Navy and 115,000 long tons by the RAF and Fleet Air Arm. Loaded ships sailing to Africa accounted for 90% of the ships sunk in Malta base squadrons were responsible for about 75% of those ships sunk by aircraft. Military operations from Malta and using the island as a staging post led to Axis air campaigns against the island in 1941 and 1942. By late July, the 80 fighters on the island averaged wastage of 17 per week. The remaining aviation fuel was only sufficient for the fighters. 
making it impractical to send more bombers and torpedo bombers for offensive operations. Malta, 1942 Operation Harpoon from Gibraltar and Operation Vigorous from Alexandria were costly failures. Only two merchantmen from Harpoon reached the island, as the vigorous convoy was forced to turn back and many merchantmen, including the only tanker in Harpoon and several convoy escorts were sunk. By August, the fortnightly ration on Malta for one person was 14 ounces sugar, 7 ounces fats, 10.5 ounces bread and 14 ounces of corned beef. An adult male worker had a daily intake of 1,690 calories and women and children received 1,500 calories. In August a mass slaughter of livestock began on the island to reduce the need for fodder imports and to convert grazing land for crop growing. The meat was supplied to the public through Victory Kitchens. Malta would be forced to surrender if fuel, food and ammunition were not delivered before September and Air Vice Marshal Keith Park. The local air commander since July warned that there remained only a few weeks' supply of aviation fuel. The Admiralty had the fast mine layer HMS Welshman converted to carry fuel and submarines were pressed into service to run supplies of aviation fuel, anti-aircraft ammunition and torpedoes through the blockade to keep the remaining aircraft operational. The First Lord of the Admiralty A. V. Alexander an Admiral of the Fleet Dudley Pound, the First Sea Lord, concurred with Churchill that the loss of Malta would be a disaster of the first magnitude to the British Empire, and probably would be fatal in the long run to the defence of the Nile Valley. Churchill and prepared a new convoy operation from Gibraltar, with an unprecedented number of escorts using ships taken from the Far East and from the home fleet that had vessels to spare since Arctic convoys had been suspended. Following the disaster to convoy PQ-17, Axis Command The Axis Command structure in the Mediterranean was centralized at the top and fragmented at the lower levels. Mussolini had monopolized authority over Italian armed forces in 1933 by taking the officers of Minister of War, Minister of the Navy and Minister of the Air Force. Feldmarschall Albert Kesselring of the Luftwaffe commanded the German ground forces in the theater as a Babel Shabaya Sud but had no authority over Axis operations in North Africa or the organization of convoys to Libya. Flyager Corps II and Flyager Corps X were subordinate to the normal chain of command of the Luftwaffe. Since November 1941, Kesselring had some influence over the conduct of the German naval operations in the Mediterranean, as nominal commander of Naval Command Italy but this was subordinate to the Kriegsmarine chain of command. German service rivalries obstructed cooperation and there was little unity of effort between German and the Italian forces in the Mediterranean. Kesselring had the authority only to coordinate plans for combined operations by German and Italian forces and some influence on the use of the Regia Aeronautica for the protection of convoys to North Africa. The Italian Navy resisted all German attempts to integrate its operations. Ships in different squadrons never trained together and Supermarina constantly overruled lower-level commanders.